Hi guys, I'm Katie from How To Become. Welcome to my videos for basic maths. The focus for this video is bid maths. Now before I get started, don't forget to subscribe for my whole range of basic maths videos. Please leave comments, share my video and give it a like. So, what am I going to teach you? So first of all, I'm going to teach you what bid maths stands for. And then I'm going to teach you how to use it and show you sample questions just to give you a better insight into what bid mass is. Okay, so bid mass. This is the method you should always use when working out a calculation that uses more than one operation. So the B stands for brackets. If your calculation includes brackets, you should always work this part out first. Secondly, we have indices. So this will be squared or cubed numbers. Next we have division then multiplication, then addition, and then finally subtraction. So this is the order of operations. So this is how you should work out the correct answer to a calculation with multiple operations. So let's give you an example. So here we have 8 times 4 plus 3 times 9. Now we have two possible answers. We've got 315 or 59. If we use bid mass correctly, we can see that the correct answer is 59. Remember the order of operations, i.e. bid mass, multiplications come before addition. So you would do the 8 times 4 first, which would give you 32. And then the 3 times 9, which would give you 27. And then you would do the addition. So 32 plus 27 would give you 59. Remember, if you used a calculator, you would generally end up with this answer because it doesn't actually read the correct bid mass. So you need to make sure that you are understanding the order of operations correctly, okay? So let's have a look at another example. So here we have 42 minus 3 times 7 plus 8. The two possible answers are 281 or 13. Again, using bid mass, the correct answer would be 13. And here's a breakdown of why. So the multiplication stage needs to be worked out first, then the addition, and then the subtraction. So 3 times 7 gives you 21. 21 plus 8 will give you 29. And 42 minus 29 will give you 13. So the correct answer is 13. Okay, so let's look at a slightly trickier example. So here we've got 5 times 3 in brackets, and this is squared plus 9 divided by 3. So let's work in stages. So the first stage is to work out the brackets. So 5 times 3 will give you 15. Then you need to work out the indices. So you would do the 15 times 15, because you're squaring that number, to give you 225. Next, you need to work out the division, so 9 divided by 3 will give you 3. And finally, you work out the addition, so you do 225 plus 3 to give you 228. So I have one more example to show you. So we've got 12 minus 15 divided by 3 in brackets, which is squared. Okay. So think in bid mass, you should work out the brackets first. So 15 divided by 3 will give you 5. Next, you need to work out the indices. So we are squaring the value of the brackets. So 5 squared is 5 times 5, which will give you 25. And finally, we have the subtraction. So we do 12 minus 25 will give you the answer of minus 13. Now remember... You've got the 12 part here first, so you wouldn't change this around just because that number is bigger than this number. It just means that your answer is a negative number as opposed to a positive number. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to use bid mass now. For more practice questions, we have a fantastic guide on offer and can be purchased by clicking on the book cover as shown. Don't forget to like and comment on the video. If you have any math videos you would like me to do, leave me your suggestion and I'll add it to my to-do list. For more videos, click the links below on this video page. Hover over the coloured rectangle boxes to be directed to one of my other short easy mathematical videos. 
that's it from me. Stay updated with a whole range of videos from me and my colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and I wish you the very best of luck.